Bitcoin, please go. Here in the center of Hanoi, Vietnam, lies a lake. I will give you a clear conclusion on where I think Bitcoin price is going and what my plan is exactly. But to understand it, I want to first tell you a legend. The chart doesn't look great, guys. As I wrote in the second last TA report now 10 days ago, I got stopped out. Then in the last TA report, I wrote that I reduced my exposure down to the point that I only have my very long term holding left. The Emperor of Vietnam in the 1400s had a sword, Heaven's Will, given to him by the Golden Turtle God. Believing that heaven had entrusted him with the great cause of freeing the land, Emperor Leloi took up arms and rallied people under his banner. For years, the magic sword brought him victory after another, penetrated the enemy camps. His men no longer had to hide in the forest. The sword helped them push back the enemy, until Vietnam was once again free. Emperor Leloi ascended the throne in 1428 ending his 10-year campaign. One year later, while he was on a dragon boat cruising around the lake, a giant turtle emerged from the water surface. The turtle advanced towards the boat and asked him to return the magic sword to his master. It suddenly became clear to the emperor that the sword was only lent to him to carry out his duty. But now it must be returned, lest it corrupt him. The emperor drew out the sword and threw it towards the turtle. With great speed, the turtle opened its mouth and snatched the sword from the air with its teeth and descended back into the water with a shiny sword in its mouth. From then on, it was named Huan Kem Lake, meaning the lake of the returned sword. Then for centuries, the turtles in the lake was believed to have only been a legend. But then in 1967, a fisherman caught this two meter long turtle. And in 1998, a cameraman caught the creature on video. Until that time, no one was sure the species even existed. Apparently, the turtle can live for long periods, completely underwater. The last known Juan Kem turtle died only in 2016. Now extinct. Probably. So, would you give back the sword? That sword was probably dear to the emperor, but he gave it back. Probably trusting he will get it again, should he ever need to. But what does any of this have to do with Bitcoin? Well, it's a metaphor. A metaphor means it's not literally true, but it helps explain a difficult concept. Because it turns out that selling your Bitcoin is a surprisingly difficult concept. If going here on YouTube with any other message, then it's gonna go up. That video goes to the special place on YouTube where videos go to die. This video is one of those. And I want to somehow explain that selling your Bitcoin doesn't mean that you have lost them. If you sink your Bitcoin into the deep, dark waters of the exchange, you can get them back. Just whistle for the turtle. Because as it turns out, the turtle freaking existed. For centuries it was believed to be a legend only, but when I lived here in Hanoi in my first time in 2009, it swam around here. People just didn't know for sure. Then the turtle will bring you two swords back. It's better if Bitcoin dumps here, because then I have a chance to buy lower. As you recall, Larsen Line flipped blue here at 49,000 on 13th of December last year. Then we had a very positive development here in the beginning of 2022. We had this ascending triangle, broke out on the 27th of March. We had a retest that held together with Larsen Line flipping gold. And this looked fantastic. Then we got stopped out here on the 6th of April out from that position. And now this no longer looks like an ascending triangle, which looks a lot like a flag. And that's not a bullish pattern, guys. After a big drop, when there is a channel in the other direction, that is not bullish and the confirmation will be a breakdown of this channel. And if that happens, we can expect another big leg down. And if we now zoom in here, we see that that breakdown looks to be happening here. And if we zoom in a little bit further, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but Larsen Line has just flipped blue. 
I've drawn this already a couple of videos ago, so it shouldn't come to you as a surprise. If you missed it, make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell notification on, because where we are is in this range that started already in January 2021. We set the bottom of the range here, we set the top, we set the bottom again, then we expanded outside the range a little bit. So if that happened at the top, what could happen here is that we also expand a little bit on the bottom, and then I hope we turn up. I have talked about this scenario for some time now, and right now it seems very possible that it will play out. If it does, I'm going to try to buy this support. Of course, we stop loss in case this scenario doesn't play out and it just continues down, but I will definitely try if we ever get here. And if that happens, that will be better than if we just bounce on this trend line support and continue up from here. So right now, large and line blue, my position is minimized. I hope for a dump here. I hope we can get in here and I hope for a recovery from here. But of course, hope is not a strategy. And if the situation changes, I will change my mind. And I really don't have to worry because Bitcoin cannot go to 100K and beyond with a trend down. It's mathematically not possible. All right, enough of this. Time to go have some Vietnamese coffee. I will make another video from here in Hanoi where we will also cover the altcoins and we will talk about some other very interesting things. Make sure you're here, guys. Thank you, Tak. CTO Larsen out. Hello. Bitcoin, please.